too far You don't have to cover up your scars You're perfect darling just the way you are So before you think to rip yourself apart Open up my heart and you'll find love Morning, Keep It Crazy family. So we are hopefully gonna get Aurora's results today. I literally have my phone glued to me today and I will not miss this phone call. And I'm just like nervous, but I really want the results. I kind of think it's gonna be negative. She still has not developed a cough and she seems a lot better today. Um, she is able to walk around. I'm praying that it's a negative and that everything works out from here. Um, on a side note, on a good note, the baby is kicking so much and you can finally feel it from the outside of my stomach. So, Hannah, oh, actually all everyone's pretty much <laughs> in my bed. Yeah. Hi everyone. <laughs> you scared me. Everyone's laying next to me. But I'm going to see if Hannah can feel it because the baby's kicking right now. Right now? Well, Hallie already felt it. She was the first one. Yeah, I felt it. It was so You're cute. the first one. It was like really small. It was like a little... Okay, also, so put your hand like, uh, like right here. Let's see if he kicks you. Wait, was that a kick? Right there. Well, he like brushed by your hand. Does it feel weird in like your stomach to feel someone moving? Kinda. It's a really cool feeling. I don't know. No, he doesn't want to kick. No. Well, we'll, probably went back we'll keep trying throughout the day <laughs> and see if people can feel it. Hallie was felt it though and she was like, oh my gosh. While we're waiting for the results of Aurora, I have really good news about Brody. How's your head? Is that a thumbs up? How's your throat? So he said that he does not have a headache today and his throat doesn't hurt. So that's so good. Aren't you happy? No? Yes? Why are you not happy? Cause I'm happy. You're not happy cause you're happy? I'm so confused. But I'm really glad that he's doing good and that he he never developed a fever or anything like that. So, so thankful. We're checking on the chickens real quick to make sure they're doing good. Thankfully, aw, they're up on the top bar. They're looking out the window. They're so cute. Max has been taking care of them while we've had craziness going on. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Look, that's so cute. There's a huge, oh, that one was on the third one. You are so good with animals. I love cool. how good you're taking care of them. Love it. Thank you. Hallie and Ariana learned to make crepes, so they are making them for dinner tonight. I'm so excited to try them. Cannot wait. Hallie's cutting up fresh strawberries. Yeah. And then Ariana's making the crepes over here. Where did you guys learn this? Uh, Google. Google? Okay, well, we, we're taking this class called culinary. It's basically like where you cook, like you learn to like cook foods. And since we're doing all of our schoolwork like online, um, we're doing these things called like, these things called labs. And that's basically where like you cook and we just chose to do crepes, so. Huh. Well, I'm excited. Thank you for making dinner. You're welcome. Thank you, Hallie. You're welcome. Are you excited for the crepes? Yes. Last time we made them, they were so, I'm excited. I just wish last time we made them, it was like the very first time, but we didn't have like any fruit. So this time we actually have fruit, so I feel like it's gonna be much better like that. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh. Powdered sugar. That was a <laughs> shifter. Sifter. It's, sifter. <laughs> sifter. <laughs> it's a swifter. Was that so fun? That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, can I do yours? <laughs> All right, I'm trying my first bite. Are you excited, Brody? Mm, I, want, I, want, I want everything. You want all the fruit on it? But I was, before I was thinking, I want just mm. one. I want one of them with just one, one kind of fruit on this. It is so one. good. One another one. It's really good. Okay, try your first bite and tell me if it's good. You need a fork. Are you dancing in my background? 
You look good? results back um so it wasn't I, I i was gonna film actually getting the results but unfortunately so the results are negative the hospital called and said she does not have COVID 19 but actually as i was talking to the hospital um aurora all of a sudden spiked a really high fever she started complaining of her leg again and kind of grabbing at her stomach her oxygen dropped i did put her in the bath to bring her fever down it was like 105 and it did bring her fever down we ended up calling the ambulance because of her oxygen dropping so low and having a hard time bringing it back up erin went with her to the hospital I did not go with her. Well, they only allow one parent and they're taking her to a bigger hospital than we were at the other day. And so hopefully we'll have some answers. I just feel so bad for Aurora at this point. And I just feel like she's three years old and she's been to the hospital and had more tests than like any of my kids. And I just really feel for her at this point. And I'm just, we're all praying in our house that everything goes good. Erin's keeping me updated. Um, they just got to the hospital as I'm filming this. So we should know something I'm hoping in the next couple of hours. I'm glad that she doesn't have COVID-19. So I'm thankful for like that result and that it's not necessarily something that's contagious or really contagious for the rest of our family. So I'm, I feel like thankful in one end, but then on the other end, I'm like, then what is it? What is going on with her? Why does she have to go through this? And so I'm just really worried at this point. next morning um Aaron didn't get home till like it's like 1 30 or 2 1 30 or 2 in the morning it was really really late it was late it's been thank you rough... to the crazy middles for coming and picking me up yeah really my sister that. Shelly and my brother-in-law Jared went and picked him up unfortunately at the hospital visit still didn't get answers yeah so you guys saw footage up to when we got in the ambulance we got in the ambulance drove uh, to the hospital. They got us checked in. They took her temperature. Um, it was 104. It was still to the above hospital. 104. I think it was like 104.2 or 104.5 when she was at the hospital. Um, so we went through everything, what she had been through, all the tests that had been run. I gave them the paperwork from the previous ER visit. They, <clears throat> the doctor decided to do another ultrasound of her entire leg, well, of her upper leg. Um, to her do it, yeah, of her hip, uh, do an x ray because that was the area she was complaining the most about. Um, so they did an x ray ultrasound, all of that came back normal. There was nothing that concerned them, like. anything like that. Um, and I'm like, but she's still running like 105 plus fever, like, there's a problem here. And, and, and they agreed, they said there's definitely something going on, but it's not in the leg that they can see. Um, they did blood work. They ended they up, did yeah. So they did X-rays. They did more blood work. Um, poor little thing. Poor it's thing. Every touch. They did put an IV in, so they didn't have to stab her more than once, but, which actually helped because they didn't end up taking enough blood the first time, so they took more blood. They ran a bunch of viral and antibac or antiviral and bacterial tests, and both of those came back negative or maybe That's slightly like elevated. So it looks like she's coming off of some sort of infection, but they don't know what. I hate that. I feel like when they go to the doctor, like normally you go to the doctor, you do a test and you know, okay, this is what my child has, or this is what will help, or it's going to pass on its own. But I feel like this is the first time that we've had something with one of our kids that 
doctors can't even figure out. And everyone's just like, well, hopefully it goes away. And it's like, what does that mean? So I don't want to just hope. Uh, I just want it to go away. I just away. want her to be better. So she still has a fever today. Um, we're not going to be vlogging for the rest of today. We're just going to spend time with her. As you can see, my bed is naked because I'm cleaning and sanitizing everything in her house. Yes. And top to bottom. The number one thing that I'm thankful for is Aurora did spike 105 plus fever and she didn't have any seizures. Oh my gosh, any time that she's been over like 100 degrees, she's had a seizure in the past. This time during this whole sickness, she's had no seizures. So I'm super grateful for that. There's so many things that I'm grateful for in this situation. Just how the kids bond together during hard times, how family and friends have reached out, how you realize how much you're loved and and then seeing Aurora come back to the house and how excited the kids were to hug on her and just love on her. And then at the end of the day, I really, really miss Aurora's smile and her, her dancing and her laugh and like all of those parts. It just makes you be really grateful and really appreciative, appreciative of, of what she brings to our family. And, and just, I'm hoping that she gets back to normal super soon because we miss all of that. We have amazing family and support system. Um, Shelly and Jared helped from a distance <laughs> and as much Thank as possible. Thank you to all the frontline workers that worked with Aurora. Everybody, oh all hospital staff, nurses, doctors, ambulance drivers, everybody was the sweetest and I want to thank them for putting their lives on the line. I know this whole pandemic thing's going on right now, but everybody acted super professional. Everybody was compassionate. I, I got to say like loving. for what's going on, our hospital visits were not nearly as long as I would have expected them to yeah, be pre-pandemic. So they were spot on. They were getting tests done, doing all that kind of stuff. So. And a big thank you to our friend Devin here in town. Um, he's been reaching out and just really encouraging and helpful. And just there's just so much to be grateful for, even though it's been a really difficult time. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.